pass it out to everybody. Anybody that takes a look at this, what would be very helpful, to send a letter to the Supreme Court of Virginia, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, because that's who appointed this, this judge. If you could pass this message around, when they look and view this information, if they feel that this judge hasn't been impartial, which is a requirement that he should be, and if, he's at, if he has any appearance of the lack of impartiality, he's supposed to be recusing himself of his own volition. So that would be very helpful to inundate the Supreme Court of Virginia, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and say to that the Chief Justice what this man is and what was viewed in court today and what they will view on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever else when they read about this. And I hopefully you will share, and a lot of people will read it, watch it, whatever they need to do. But those letters into the media and to the Supreme Court, like I said, the chief judge of the Supreme Court, letting them know if it's your opinion that he was he failed to be impartial, let them know. Please. That would be very helpful. All right, my name is Rick Bryan, and I'm from, uh, I live in Mechanicsville, Virginia. And uh, I've been to our judicial system a number of times, uh, you know, home traffic tickets, girls' traffic tickets, a couple of other things, and of course this proceeding today. And the one thing that, that uh, pervades my opinion or my uh, impression of all this is the arrogance and smugness of the law enforcement, the people, the, the, the judge himself in this particular case, other judges have happened. They, I don't think the term public servant ever enters their mind anymore. It, it seems like everything that they do is, is, is somehow to, that they're, they're uh, si simply protecting themselves. Like they've done something wrong. Uh, overall, I think our uh, the justice system is, 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 is. I don't have a lot of confidence in it. I'm immediately uh, uh, on guard if I come up against these people for any reason. What it is, I'm not. Gonna... And that's all. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Herb did a great job. Uh, I noticed the thing. I guess I'm taken away from this other than what everybody else has said so eloquently today. Uh, is just hearing the judge say, is that all? Herb would say, yeah, that's it. Uh, motion denied. You got anything else? And Herb would go through another thing. And the judge would say, is that all? Motion denied. He, that, that's kind of the pattern of the whole thing. He, he, did, he wasn't really interested in any kind of additional information, questions, or anything like that. Neely did not just basically say anything. He said a couple things on his own there. Uh, but uh, I also want to just point out, we're talking about some get, being involved. Uh, it's not just things like this going on. We got in the counties of Virginia, we got Agenda 21, which is being driven on the counties to develop urban development areas, of course, with UN guidance, mandatory emissions, and, and all kinds of stuff, crowding people in. But that's going on right now in all these counties that have had growth from 1990 to 2000. That's one of the things that people are going to be involved in in this General Assembly coming up January, uh, in January. They've got delegates, everybody here from Virginia's got a delegate, a state senator, they need to, not even know who they are, but engage them in these issues. Another issue is they want to take out uh, public notices from newspapers. You know, they're going to put a tile recycling for, uh, factory or something down the street from you, a little zoning change or something, They were, that's that's a public notice required to be put in the newspaper. They want to take it out of the newspaper because they said we don't need it. We just put it on the website. That thing's going on. People need to be engaged, General Assembly. The other thing is the Constitutional Convention, a push for a Constitutional Convention. Dorothy here mentioned the First Amendment. We're not going to have a First Amendment if we get into a Constitutional Convention. Enough states sign up for a Constitutional Convention. That's 34. They'll just start over scratch, and we won't have any anything. Our rights come from God, but you know, Constitution secures them. So there's a lot of local stuff in the county, and there's stuff in the state. People need to be involved in all that stuff. In, in addition to this, of course, they need to know their delegate, their state senator, and start being involved. Thank you.